to all the families watching today's video. My name is Marie, and in this video, we are going to be singing a new welcome song, which is called Hello, My Friends, Hello. And in today's story, we are going to be reading the book The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. And for our art activity, we are going to be talking about dot art, which looks like this. And we are also going to be talking about the artist, Yayoi Kusama, who has dedicated her life in creating masterpieces related to making dots. In addition, we are also going to make some exercises, simple stretches with our hands. Okay, are we ready to sing our welcome song? Let's sing it together. Hello my friends, hello. Hello my friends, hello. Hello my friends, hello my friends, hello, hello, hello. Bonjour my friends, bonjour in French. Bonjour my friends, bonjour. Bonjour my friends, bonjour my friends, bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. How about in Chinese? Ni hao my friends, ni hao. Ni hao my friends, ni hao. Ni hao my friends, ni hao my friends, ni hao, ni hao, ni hao. And how about in Spanish? Hola my friends, hola. Hola my friends, hola. Hola my friends, hola my friends, hola, hola, hola. And in Russian, Privyet my friends, privyet. Privyet my friends, privyet. Privyet my friends, privyet my friends, privyet, privyet, privyet. How about in my home language? In Tagalog, we say kamusta. Kamusta my friends, kamusta. Kamusta my friends, kamusta. Kamusta my friends, kamusta my friends, kamusta, kamusta, kamusta. If your home language wasn't sang in this song, definitely just change up the lyrics. So now let's start reading our story, The Dot. The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you, she said. Vashti grabbed the marker and gave the paper a good strong jab. There, she said. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, Now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment, Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week, when Vashti walked into her art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that, she said. She opened her never-before-used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted a red dot, a blue dot, a purple dot, and a yellow dot. The blue mixed with the yellow and she discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on a bigger paper to make bigger dots, just like this. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. <laughs> Just like this. Then she had many different dots. At school, art show for weeks later, Vashi's many dots made quite a huge splash. Vashi noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're really a great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. 
I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me, she said. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle, and then she said, Please sign it. The end. So children, with that story, you can definitely make your own creation or your own art masterpiece, even by just starting off with a dot. Okay, before we proceed to our art activity, let's do some exercises by making small and big dots with our hand. Can we pretend that our hand is a paintbrush? Here we go, let's do some exercises. Small dot, small dot, small dot, small dot, small dot, small dot, big dots, big dots, big dots, big dots, big dots, big dots. Great, now let's try to make some lines with our pointer finger. Line, a short line, short line, short line, short line, short line. How about with our other hand? Short line, short line, short line, short line. With both hands, let's try to make a longer line. Long line, long line, long line, long line. How about a longer line? Here it goes. Longer line, longer line, longer line, longer line. Great. Now we're gonna try to make small circles. Here it goes. Small circles, small circles, and big circles, big circles, small circles, small circles, big circles, big circles. Now let's try to do some waves or curves. Here it goes. Small curves, small curves, small curves and big curves big curves let's try that with our other hand here it goes small curves small curves and big curves big curves great job for following those movements okay now let's talk about how are we going to make our art dot masterpiece just like this what are the different tools that you can use let me show you. For your painting material, you can either use some Q-tips or a paintbrush, just like this. For your colors, I wanted to show you that I got this from the dollar store. It comes in a set of 12 colors in a container. What's really cool about this is that, is that it also comes with a little spatula and then you can press and create a little dot using it. Just like in this story, you can start creating your art by picking a favorite color that you like to start off with. I like the color purple. And so I would dip my brush or my Q-tip or my spatula and try to create my first dot. And I encourage you to continue and take your time to fill up your paper with dots or you can create a blank space with an empty circle in the middle just like what was shown in the story. I also want to talk about the artist Yaya Kasama. Yaya Kasama is a Japanese artist who has a lot of masterpieces and art installations related to circles and dots. Over here you can see a few of her art pieces. And you can also see how other children have created the different dots using watercolor, crayons, paint, and markers. So I encourage all of you to try to make your dot art or circular art. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thank you everyone for watching and we'll see you again next time.